Meghan and Harry's upcoming Netflix documentary is likely to criticize the royal family and even society because the couple feel they're being mistreated. Hello and welcome to the Royal Insider. If it is your first time here make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notification bell so you don't miss out on all our royal updates. The show is said to open on Thursday and royal sources have already said they expect it to be more Oprah crying. But a hint of what viewers may get to experience also emerged this morning in details of a conversation Harry had with a friend before the sit-down with the chat show queen. A senior source told The Sun newspaper that he expected the royal family would find the interview very shocking and that these Brits need to learn a lesson. In the interview, which attracted 17.1 million viewers, Harry and Meghan said members of the royal family had asked their son how black while ignoring her pleas for mental health. Buckingham Palace sources said last night that there was growing frustration and exhaustion after Harry and Meghan's relentless public complaints about how they were treated by the rest of the royal family. A clever trailer for the six-part show was released last week, teasing intimate moments and seemingly threatening to reveal more details about the pair's complicated relationship with the family they left behind. The source added that the Prince and Princess of Wales were surprised but not too surprised that the ad was released during their high-profile visit to the US and threatened to cover it up. The lavish teaser, which was released online the day after William and Kate's visit to Boston, is the latest in the Duke and Duchess seemingly never-ending onslaught of business. In a rare and high-profile intervention, royal sources described how King Charles and Queen Camilla were not worried but tired of the Sussex's criticism. A furious palace source underlined the word tired. In September, the royal family made a magnanimous and very deliberate gesture to allow Prince Harry to attend the late Queen's funeral as much as possible, including asking him to wear military uniform at the main wake, but now they're getting paid. It was claimed that it was almost a constant eruption. Palace staff have highlighted the irony of the Sussex's many public interviews and TV appearances, talking about how they hoped for a new life out of the public eye. Meghan and Harry, who live in the celebrity enclave of Montecito, California, criticized royal life in an interview with Oprah Winfrey last year.